Hey Aqua, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's see what's going on for my beautiful and my handsome Aquarius, okay? <clears throat> let's see, thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your um, super thanks, your super chats. I'm sending that love right back to you all tenfold, okay? Anything you guys need to know about me is gonna be down below in the description box. I don't even say all that no more. I don't even know why I felt called to say it, but. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work. Any dark magic that a sense of harm off on their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my aquas and protect me as I channel the messages for aqua. Uh, Divine Feminine, some of you guys could be moving or you're moving on from a situation. You're leaving something behind. You could be an earth angel here, whoever this Divine Feminine is. Yeah, and you're confident about moving forward. Yeah, you're letting go of somebody here. With they, they keep on with, off the grid, being cooped up in their room, not socializing, being a hermit, not on social media. And I feel like you're letting their ass go with their hermit ass. That's fine. You can stay a hermit, bitch. <laughs> stay a hermit, okay? Don't pop out when we move on, right, Aquarius? Stay cooped up in your room or whatever the fuck. Well, that's cool, honey bun. Give me a card for Aqua. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, look. Wow, divine masculine. Divine feminine earth angel. Wow. So it says the situation involves a divine masculine, takes action, protects, looks out for the family. You could be in your divine masculine energy. Okay, purpose. Someone who knows what they are meant to do in life, understands their life mission, plays no games, has the facts. Chilling. <laughs> Being really comfortable in life, not wanting to do the most, at ease and at peace with the world. Okay, period. What's chilling? Some of y'all could be getting ready to go on vacation or something, too. Yeah, controlling. Someone thinks they can control you, the situation, or people in general are tyrants. So I feel like, yeah, you're chilling because you know you can't be controlled. <laughs> like, what the fuck they thought this was? So let's see. So you could be meeting a divine masculine that's in their purpose, or you are the divine masculine that's in their purpose. Uh, you could be a woman in divine masculine energy. You could be in this assertive energy right now, taking action, whatever, whatever. Or you could be meeting a divine, like an actual divine masculine that's actually in their purpose too. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Yeah, the devil in reverse. So Capricorn energy. So yeah, you detached from something. You took you've taken your power back here. Okay. Yeah, what's the divine masculine? The Tower reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. I'll just take it since they fell out like that. So there's an inevitable tower here that's happening. You can't avoid something falling apart or you can't avoid, um, you can't get around something. So I just feel like you're surrendering, you're setting yourself free because something leaves you confused. There will be no breakthrough in the situation or somebody keeps on lying and shit. Okay. Could be another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody could have a Virgo, Venus. We got Aries, Scorpio. So I feel like something is going on here about a wrong decision or a wrong choice. This could be like frustration as well. Somebody is trying to avoid losing you by lying is what I'm getting to. <laughs> okay. But I feel like this is talking about your path more so divine feminine or masculine. I feel like this is a this is a divine feminine getting ready to meet a divine masculine, to be honest. And if you're a man watching, then you are the divine masculine I'm talking about. So just flip the rose. But let's see. What's the tower reverse, man? Excuse me. Something failed. It didn't work here. Okay, the Ten of Souls reverse and the Seven of Wands reverse. So yeah, I feel like you could be meeting. You could be. Uh, I'm about to say you could be meeting. You could be meeting a Gemini shit. 
But we got Gemini, Sun, Leo, Mars. So, yeah, I feel like you're you're letting something go. You're burnt out. You're tired of dealing with a situation. So you're letting it go. You're taking the swords out your own back or you've been betrayed, <clears throat> betrayed here. So you're leaving. Somebody, too, is going to go through an unavoidable tower. They ain't going to have no protection. Okay, you could have been saving this person's ass or protecting them. I feel like somebody getting ready to hit rock bottom or the worst is getting ready to come for somebody's ass. But I feel like something is unblocked for you, though, because you're healing or you're just, you just push through some sort of obstacles, challenges. You didn't got over something. It's like you're just surrendering the situation. You're letting it go. It is what the fuck it is. Period. I feel like somebody, too is weak or they're not setting clear boundaries so that's why they're getting ready to experience some some mess somebody's refusing to ch like they don't want to change or something like that or this is you yeah you're getting ready to free yourself from this because honey no i don't know what the fuck somebody got going on what's the nine pentacles there's Somebody's not defending you or protecting you, and that's not a divine masculine. So whoever knows that you're being attacked and they're not gonna sit up, they're not defending you or protecting you, then they they ask to get in the boot. Uh, so you know who I'm talking about. Only you know. What's seven of wands reverse for our move? Let me see. Yeah, the judgment. Yeah, I feel like you're calling judgment on something. This is a you know, self-awareness. You're not doubting a decision no more. You're surrendering. Seven of Wands reverse. You're letting something go here. I feel like you're forgiving anybody that needs forgiveness. I feel like you're like, yeah, I forgive you, bitch. I'm moving on. <laughs> moving on, period. This could be you definitely going through some sort of awakening, transformation. What's the Nine of Pentacles? The Ten of Cups reverse. Yeah, so you're freeing yourself from a family dynamic or somebody that would rather fake their happiness in a relationship or doing something all for the looks of things. Okay. Something that once felt like home to you does not. Okay. There's some sort of dysfunctional family shit going on here. A lot of miserable, sad energy. Somebody is, is stuck in a bunch of dysfunction. Or this could be somebody you got kids with. Or somebody that somebody else got kids with. They stuck over there. I feel like you're free. That ain't your situation. You don't give a fuck. Period. <laughs> okay. Period. Yeah, look. Queen of Cups reverse. Two of Cups in the reverse. Somebody made a bad investment. And all they do is sit back and watch you. Or this bitch sit back and watch you. There's conflict over here with this hoe. I feel like you're removing yourself. Devil reverse and a damn fool. Yeah, and this person, they getting ready to be restricted from your ass. They keep playing these stupid ass games. Nobody got time for that shit. What's the nine of pentacles, ten of cups reverse? I, I really hate when people do that. Like, they know what they be doing. Trying to block somebody from reaching their destination because they're selfish. They're fucking selfish. And they're mad that they got themselves caught up in something. So they want to hold you back. No, bitch. You're going to stay where the fuck you're at. <laughs> There's no amount of magic or anything like that that's going to stop somebody from going to get what they deserve. What's the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups reverse? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles here and the damn Chariot reverse. Yeah, you know what this is? Somebody chose something fake. Somebody chose money. There was an opportunity being presented to somebody and they chose money. They didn't tr choose true happiness. So they sacrificed you, basically. Who I just got that for? Leo. They decided to choose their dysfunctional ass, fake ass family over you. And I feel like this family, too, they got a bunch of secrets. <laughs> so it's just all around the board. They look dumb. So now I feel like you're freeing yourself and you're getting ready to meet a divine masculine. That's what I feel like you're doing. Okay. Somebody got coerced and forced i guess into some ace of pentacles uh, situation and i feel like it was a test for somebody somebody was tested and they folded that's what i feel somebody don't have no no balls they just fall for anything it's crazy could be dealing with a cancer so i feel like hate one over love here with the cherry reverse something is now is out of control or i don't know yeah, somebody would rather do whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles reverse, Six of Wands reverse, Page of Cups in the reverse. A smear campaign, a lot of jealousy, envy. Somebody would rather ignore their inner voice or 
not heal their damn inner child somebody's not open to new relationships or new possibilities or they just this person has got a lot of pride and ego and i feel like whoever this is is inconsistent they're back and fucking forth you can't rely on them for shit but when 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 they need you you're around yeah i feel like you're not no more queen of wands with the sun temperance yeah you're you're deuces <laughs> like nobody got time for that bro that's so disappointing it's so sad yeah the empress and the damn ace of wands so i feel like yeah you're getting ready to meet somebody this could be you getting ready to work on something new as well you can be in your divine masculine energy empress where you're taking action whatever but i feel like some big dick energy is coming your way period and if you're a man vice versa so it, it don't really matter what's the ace of swords in the reverse I feel like, uh, yeah, King of Pentacles. What's Ace of Swords of Rest, King of Pentacles? The Three of Wands. <laughs> so, yeah. I feel like somebody just more so committed to their finances, their money. That's what they're focused on, and that's fine. You know, do do whatever you want. But just know, like, I feel like spirit gave this person a choice. Are you going to choose money over love? Love conquers all. Shit, if you would have went with love, you would have had all the money. You wouldn't have to worry about your whack-ass family and these secrets and all this dumb-ass shit. But somebody here chose a different way, and that's fine. Shit. Can't be mad at it. It is what the fuck it is. So, uh, let me see. Let me see something real quick. What's this King of Pentacles? Somebody, yeah, the Knight of Souls in reverse. Somebody's a follower. I feel like somebody's loyalty lies somewhere else. That's what it is. Like, they're loyal to something else. Or oh, this person could even be married. They made the wrong decision to marry somebody. And they just stuck over there in that shit. But it brings them some sort of stability. And I guess, okay. That's fine. Um... For some of you, you could have a King of Pentacles coming in. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. They could have Aries in their chart, but the Three of Wands talks about having a sense of foresight. Okay. Something could be new. So just, just watch out. For, I've been getting that kind of like energy too. I got that mainly for Virgo. Like that confusing ass energy. Maybe a bit of Pisces. Hmm. What's the Knight of Souls reverse with the Knight of the King of Pentacles? Four of Cups in reverse. So yeah, I feel like you're moving out of some sort of stalemate. Okay. You're getting ready to seize an opportunity. I feel like you're moving away from somebody that's unfocused. They're a follower. Okay, somebody with the Knight of Souls reverse, they feel like they know everything or they have some sort of God complex or whatever this is. Somebody here is a follower. They're trying to attack you and all this other shit there's some sort of arguing or animosity here around you animosity hostility whatever but there's some sort of confusion here in the situation there will there won't be any breakthroughs with whatever this is what's this three of wands I'm trying to figure out what the fuck this king of pentacles is doing who is it seven of swords in reverse What's the three of wands, seven of swords reverse? Ace of cups in reverse. So, I mean, I feel like you feel self-assured about moving away from this. Because I feel like some things are being revealed, seven of swords reverse. Your consciousness as well is kicking in about something being unrequited. Okay? Somebody's getting caught up in something or somebody is two-faced as fuck. And you can see it, but maybe somebody else don't fucking see it. They're, they're, somebody is scatterbrained. They don't see something. They're letting family get in the way. They're being led the wrong way. They're being coerced and all that. So I feel like you're done. There's too much drama going on. You don't got time for somebody to be a grown-ass man or woman and they ass get led. They let people guide them instead of them using their own damn mind and brain. It's, it's one thing to get opinions of others and things like that. But for, to, for you to let other grown people try to control your life and blah, blah, blah. I just feel like you're childish as fuck. Nobody got time for that shit. So I feel like you're not investing your time. You're not investing your time. Somebody, okay, what's the Ace of Pentacles? 
there's been a cancel celebration or there's been some sort of like breakup or whatever. <clears throat> or you breaking up with some damn body. This is, I mean, it's a lot of sadness, doom and gloom here. Somebody got repressed emotions too. They keep on hiding their feelings. I feel like somebody's two-faced. So I feel like you should, you should feel self-assured by with moving on. What's this Ace of Pentacles right here? The Four of Swords reverse. What's the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Swords reverse? The Five of Cups. Like somebody is just so stressed. Six of Swords in reverse too. Somebody is just. I feel like this person is trapped. They went backwards. This is like out of the frying pan and into the fire. Towards something that's non-committal, where people don't even work together. It's just like them doing everything. I feel like somebody didn't work with you, and they went backwards. They didn't follow their guidance. They went backwards and they revoked their offer from you. Now they ask to send somewhere crying or in regret. They're stressed out. But I feel like they've been that way. They just don't ask for help. I feel like somebody don't want to ask you for help. Because they don't want to look a certain way. But that's how your ass stay stuck in these kind of positions. Because you don't want to ask for help. Period. Like, we all need help with from somebody. What the fuck? There's nothing wrong with getting the right help. But I feel like, I don't know, maybe somebody don't think you the right help. But it's okay. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, somebody here watching you. Spying. Playing mind games or whatever. Seven of Pentacles in reverse and shit ain't going nowhere. And you're the Empress. They allowed you to grow into the Empress. And then they got their whack-ass family, baby mama. Whoever the fuck this bitch is right here. With all these fights and shit about money or whatever. Just letting somebody steal their damn inheritance. I feel like Archangel Michael is coming in to block this. Because somebody is under some sort of illusion. And I feel like, okay. How, how long, how many times are you going to be caught up in the same illusion? That's the shit that be getting on my nerves. Because at some point, you got to see that your life is going in circles. It's in shambles. Why the fuck are you not making a change? 17, 17 on the timer. That shit get on my nerves. I be tired of hearing that and I be tired of reading on it. So yeah, I be talking shit. I don't give a fuck. Whoever get mad, I'm supposed to get angry and be like, you know what? Empress is right. <laughs> like I need to get out of some shit. Yeah, I need to set myself free. What the fuck? People be tripping. I don't be wanting to hear that shit. I'm, we need growth. Or the same cycle over and over again is pathetic. So somebody, they're, they're, so you're moving on from a situation. I feel like there's somebody two-faced around someone where their love is unrequited. So it's like you're moving on, and then they fall on behind the shit, or they're not, they're not being direct, or they're just, I don't know. Somebody's cowardly. They're very much so. It's giving, they're giving me punk ass. I can't stand that weak ass shit. That ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't know what this is. Somebody is like scatterbrained. Somebody made the wrong decision. Ace of Swords in reverse. They decided their loyalty was going to stay somewhere else, I guess. So they was going to provide and give to a, situ a situation that is pathetic. So, okay. But that might be their lesson in this lifetime. You can't do shit with them. I don't know. But, okay. What's purpose here? Five of Wands reverse. Yeah, there is no damn competition. You're not fighting with no damn body. You and your purpose. Why the fuck would you sit up here and compete or fight with, with anybody? There is none. They know that, and so does the bitch that they're trying to get away from knows that, too. <laughs> What's the purpose with Five of Wands Reverse? Somebody's a two-faced hoe. You can see it, but they can't. They're like, oh, yeah, well, there's money over there, or, and I need help, so let me... Okay, well, go over there, then. What's the purpose with the Five of Wands Reverse? Nobody got time. Two of Pentacles. So, um... Yeah, this is you not, you're removing yourself from some sort of drama. You don't get involved in no mess. You, you're uninvolved. Somebody's family is whack as fuck. And you see it, but somebody else is missing the whole fucking point. I'm trying to figure out where the divine masculine is. Because I know there's not no fucking divine masculine. It's not giving. Maybe they are protecting and looking out for their family. And that's fine. Maybe they have those obligations. That is okay. But baby, you need to see that somebody's a snake around you. And I feel like you can try to tell their ass. That's the problem. Somebody feels like they know everything. Knight of Swords reverse. You can't teach them nothing. And you don't got time for that. So let their ass get betrayed by their whack ass family. Baby mama, baby daddy. Whoever. They'll learn. But not on your watch. <laughs> not on your time. Period. So. 
Two of Pentacles is being flexible, adaptable. So this is you adapting to some sort of changes. Okay, you could be being open to new things. Maybe you could have a lot on your plate too, but what's the Two of Pentacles? The Magician. What's Two of Pentacles with the Magician? Maybe you're trying to make a decision. Okay, Justice in the Reverse. Libra Energy. So something is unfair, is imbalanced. Somebody's not taking accountability for something. Okay, this is somebody getting some damn bad karma. And the magician is having a sense of like mental clarity, manifesting. You have a clear, clear sight here. You know what you want. You have everything that, that you need, all the tools that you want to manifest what it is that you want and need, period. So what's this justice reverse? What's the problem? Two of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, some, okay, so somebody got some sort of karma they need to clear out with this person that they keep going back to. Or they can't seem to get away from or whatever. Okay. So it was justice reverse to a cut reverse. So I feel like, yeah, you're trying to adapt to this. Okay, look, the emperor. <laughs> uh, child, please. For some of you, I feel like, too, this could be you and somebody here that's incompatible. Because that's the, the divine masculine coming out here. So this could be you and somebody that are not seeing eye to eye. Y'all keep bumping heads or y'all incompatible. Okay. And I mean. Somebody's in a false relationship. Or they in something abusive. And this is karma. This is a karmic relationship. What's this emperor? What's the emperor? Who this? The devil reverse. Okay, period. And who the emperor with the devil reverse? Two of wands in the reverse. Yeah, let me have the fool. So for some of you, this could be a sudden arrival of an emperor. And there will be no reconciliation with whoever this is over here because you're done with them. You can clearly see that there's incompatibilities. They don't want you. They're focused on some other shit. So I feel like your manifestations are coming in and you need to be open to it. Okay, that's what this is. There's an actual emperor coming in, I feel. Two of wands in the reverse. I feel like you won't see it coming either. This could be like a sudden thing that happens. A devil in reverse. Somebody's detaching or has taken a power back. This emperor has taken a power back from someone. <clears throat> I feel like whoever this king of pentacles is, they're loyal somewhere else or they're married or something like that. Their money and their time is going to other shit. So whoever this is, they're the wrong decision. Clearly. Or they made the wrong decision and you set yourself free, Nine of Pentacles. There's an emperor here, divine masculine. What's the two of wands reverse? It's like the queen of cups in the reverse. What's two of wands reverse, queen of cups in the reverse, show. Three of cups in the reverse. Yeah, third party. So somebody's options are getting ready to be restricted. You're getting ready to remove yourself from whatever the fuck this is right here because it's toxic. You're taking your power back from the situation with this bitch right here. Because I feel like this is the hoe that is fighting or c competing or something like that between you and somebody here that clearly they both can't get over each other or whatever the fuck it is. They're codependent on one another, whatever. You're removing yourself from it. This person here is gossiping. This is why this person is restricted from you. And you're getting ready to meet a divine masculine. As soon as you detach from this, you could be getting ready to meet an actual masculine. Because this ain't this ain't no divine masculine, boo-boo. They are divine masculine maybe to this bitch. I don't know. But they ain't no divine masculine to your ass. I feel like this is what's going on here too. Queen of Cups in the reverse for some of you. This is you closing your heart off to other opportunities. Not having a social life. This is a lack of a social life. And that's also restricting your options because you fear the unknown. If you let this go, then what are you going to get? Baby, an emperor. <laughs> your damn emperor. Spirit wants you to be open to whatever this is because this is a part of your purpose. Like, you don't got time to be waiting for nobody that can't control their hoes or keep listening to their raggedy ass family that's hiding everything from their ass. You don't got time for that shit. Yeah, look, the empress. No, whoever this is, if, if this is a comic right here, they're gossiping, all kind of stuff, and somebody just do too much. What's the five of wands reverse? Six of swords in the reverse. Yeah, so I feel like this could be you standing your ground. 
Okay, somebody keep on trying to run away from their consequences. What's the what's the five of wands reverse, six of swords reverse? Yeah, nine of cups. Somebody's miserable, they have addictions, blah blah blah. Okay. Somebody got too much drama. Too much. And I feel like they can stay over there with that shit. They like that. <laughs> they can stay over there with it. It's fine. You don't go. You don't. Okay. You're removing yourself. Somebody likes the drama. It's these hoes. There's some hoes somewhere that's fighting over this damn whoever the fuck this King of Pentacles is. I feel like that they family or just somebody baby mama or baby daddy, whatever. But somebody here could have tried to defame you and some more shit. And I feel like you've been having to stand your ground against somebody that this masculine don't even know that's doing something to you or they do know it, but they can't control the bitch. So that means they don't care about you enough. They don't love you enough for them to do that. And I feel like you don't got time for that shit. So you're removing yourself. You're not going to compete with no loser hoe. These, this, you're not going to do that. And they raggedy friends or whatever this is. You're not going to do all that. The fuck are you talking about? What's this controlling with chilling? Chilling here. Yeah, page of swords. Yeah, no. Somebody don't. They hate where the fuck they at. They're so miserable. They're so depressed. And every time they look for an outlet or try to get away from these hoes, they come riding to you. No. Stay where the fuck you at. Deal with your problems. Stop being fucking selfish. That shit is selfish as fuck. To have these hoes sitting around being dick pressed and you trying to come over here where somebody knows what they want. That's rude and that's inconsiderate. Selfish. As fuck. So what's the controlling with the chilling card with page swords? People get on my fucking nerves. Yeah, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's like watching you. They're watching you. Saying all kind of nasty shit about you. This Queen of Swords in reverse been coming out too damn much. I hate this bitch. I do not like her. And you see, I don't normally say hate. <laughs> I don't normally say hate. That's a strong word. I dislike the hoe. But so me saying certain things like that. That's how they feel about your ass. Somebody is unforgiving as fuck. This person is unforgiving as fuck. They're very resentful. They're very mean. Very nasty spirited person. So this could be somebody that hates your ass. And they want you to give in to that shit. I feel like just let the shit go. Aquarius or cross watcher. Whoever. Because I don't ever say that. Y'all don't never hear me talk like that or say that. So that's definitely how they feel about you. <laughs> they feel like. They hate you and they want you to go back and forth with them, actually. They want you to feel that way about them. They want you to be so unforgiving that you stay stuck in a cycle over and over and over again where you're not trusting, your heart is closed off, you don't want to go out and make new friends, especially if you're a woman. It's like, no. No. But they're definitely watching you, though. And they're playing these damn mind games or they're watching you speak up against some sort of injustice with the page of swords because whoever this is is a liar. They're lying about something. And they're trying to keep control over whoever this is. Yeah, by doing magic. Or they're doing a lot of divination spying on this damn empress. But they're they're watching you to try to keep control of a situation so somebody won't have clarity about what they're doing behind the scenes. So they definitely don't like your ass. Like I said, they hate you. <laughs> they hate you, honey. Because in the reading too today, there's been a lot of projection. A lot of projection. So just, what's Queen of Swords reverse? The fool. Yeah, I feel like you set yourself free. So if you're watching, bitch, somebody's free. They ain't think about you, honey. There's no need for the hate or whatever. Just move on with your raggedy ass. <laughs> okay, period. Like, just go on ahead, honey. Go on ahead. What's the Queen of Swords reverse with the fool? Okay, yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here took a foolish leap of faith. Somebody's new beginning consists of this Queen of Swords in reverse running their damn mouth. Lying and all kind of dumb ass shit. Now somebody, what, they feel embarrassed? Or they stuck in the middle of something? Two of swords with the five of swords in reverse? Child, please. Now the pinnacles in reverse, somebody don't got no common sense. They don't have no common sense here. They're unreliable, irresponsible. And somebody don't ever finish what they start. They make promises they never fucking keep. So you're breaking free with the fool. I feel like somebody is taking a leap of faith somewhere too because this person, like I said, is very superficial. They're materialistic. That's all they care about is money. 
And that's why they're not going to have you here. So, what's the Page of Swords? Mm -mm -mm. Eight of Cups here and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like you're seeing the bigger picture. They're trying to get some sort of information to see if you've walked away. They did. Or they will. So, you can continue to do what you're doing, honey. Somebody's got the lesson. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Yeah, something is repetitive anyway. It's like predictable at this point. It's like really predictable. Okay, period. So yeah, the Four of Pentacles is letting go, releasing, or... I feel like somebody too is being stolen from. This could be you opening up about something or sharing something. Eight of Cups is seeing a bigger picture of something. But I just, I just feel like this is you letting something go. Okay. Somebody lost your ass. You ain't lose them. Period. So let me see. What I want to do real quick. Let me see something. Child, please. Not y'all trying to, you know what I'm saying? No, because we don't hate nobody over here. That's how you bitches feel about us. We don't hate nobody, but I do not like you hoes. It's a strong dislike. <laughs> do not like you bitches that's for sure and i will forever talk shit about you that's for sure in the readings and you know okay never mind <laughs> never mind i have to go make me a salad doesn't that sound really nice well, i was gonna cook but i feel like it's too late now it's 10 17 i was gonna cook here I'll just do it tomorrow. I'm just going to make me a little salad, though. Like, grill me some chicken real quick. Put in my salad. That's all I need. So, let's see. What's this Divine Masculine up here? Because I'm trying to figure out where the fuck they at. What, or, well, I see the emperor. What's the Divine Masculine? <laughs> Ghost. Cowardice. Disappearing. Act no closure. I cannot. <laughs> mm, salty. Feeling wrong. Bitter and dramatic. Jealousy. Somebody's jealous because you could be getting a divine masculine. No chill, overreacting, unable to be tamed, uncontrolled feelings. Okay, what's ghost? Excuse me, rebound, flighty, temporary option, unpredictable intentions, and tea time. <laughs> Gossiping, spreading rumors, and drama. There could be a karmic couple too getting some bad karma. Because somebody just won't take accountability for their actions and they keep on laying up with hoes, doing all this extra shit. It's just like, sir, ma'am. <laughs> Who does Emperor? Who does Emperor? The cleanse, detox, purification, ridding negativity. Who the Emperor? So, okay, sauce, intoxicated, irrational behavior, senseless and impulsive, and the reverse, and then we have cuffed. Okay, off the market, committed relationship, inaccessible. So for some of you guys, there is a divine masculine coming in. They're also cleansing their energy. Or after you cleanse, you're going to meet this whoever this emperor is. Okay, period. Yeah. What's this uh, Ace of Swords reverse King of Pentacles person? Fuego. Chemistry, intense passion, things are heating up. Yeah, that's in the reverse. So you're losing interest in this person. The chemistry is gone or whatever. Okay, spark. Instant, uh, instant click, so recognition, unexplainable pull. Repo. <laughs> Default on payments, financially incapable, repossessed assets. What's the spark? Somebody can need spark plugs for their car. Okay, we got hermit mode. Me time, retreating in solitude, sorting things through. What's spark? Fed up. Over it, not having it. Frustrated and petty. Immature, small-minded, insignificant drama. You and somebody do have a spark. Whoever this is right here. What's this Fuego reverse? 
Okay, yeah. Thirsty, seeking attention, needing validation, desperate and pushy and people pleaser. Overgiving, nice guy, girl syndrome, doing anything and everything. So somebody here is disinterested and somebody that's a people pleaser and they thirsty. With that foil going the reverse, something is not heating up here. I feel like... <laughs> um, <clears throat> Or this is you having a disinterest in somebody that's like this. But somebody keeps on planning your energy, though. They're getting something out of you making those kind of decisions when it comes down to your love life. Like, somebody... It could be a Virgo here with this hermit energy. I keep getting Virgo. But somebody here is, like, being petty or trying to be funny. I feel like it's because they need something. They need something as far as their finances goes. So I guess they get some sort of clout or something off of your name. What's the repo? Like, that shit is really fucking weird. They don't want you to get into this connection or whatever. We got siren call, sexual tactics, gaining attention, lure by temptation, cuffing season, single, single and ready to mingle, ready for a relationship on the hunt. Somebody could be dealing with a dark witch. So, okay. It feels like something is just backwards. Something is real ba ass backwards here. It really is. It's like whoever this is is falling for the person that they don't need to fall for. Or somebody's like losing shit, losing money, all kind of stuff. So they going backwards to go fuck with a bitch that they feel like is going to help them do something or whatever. And that's fine. We don't give a fuck, right? They're trying to, for some of you, somebody's doing like spell work too to, to spark something up between you two. So that way they can energy harvest. I feel like somebody need to kiss your ass, really. I'm sick of hearing about this shit, really, to be honest. But let's pull a card. You know, I you know, I need to get off here anyways because I know people are projecting into my readings. They've been really uh intense lately and because of a shift and the new moon is coming. What is it, new moon in cancer? It's coming up, or it's a new moon in Cancer. No, it's no moon in Leo. I'm tripping, right? No moon in Leo. Yeah, Leo. My bad. The moon is in Cancer right now, man. Give me a card for Aquarius. The crossing, initiation, bottom of the deck is sky dancers, surrender. <sighs> exactly, surrender. <laughs> 54. So it says, rite of passage and initi initiation. You have come to stand on one side of a river. The opposite bank leads into the darkness of the eternal cave, where the old dies and then is born again. This is a place where time is forgotten and the season sees their dance and stand still as if in a temporary repose. You must cross the river now, honoring and respecting this transition, for it's time to say goodbye to your old ways of navigating your world. Don't be afraid. You have come to the edge of the river because you're ready. You're ready to let go of what doesn't serve you and, and all the ways in which you've kept yourself from truly living. Intimacy requires vulnerability and truth. Can you strip away the mask and the barriers of false strength to discover what you're really made of? Step into the boat waiting for you. Let it carry you into the cave where the shadows are waiting to be illuminated so you can be born again into the world without denial or artifice. Making the crossing is a beautiful, powerful act of the highest love, period. And that's the goal. You know, you got to surrender. Movement towards adventure. Exactly. Hollow bone. Teachability. Rest and renewal. So be teachable. I feel like you're going to meet somebody who's going to teach you something. Yeah, then we got sacred contract choices and their consequences. Moving out of stagnation, rising above the fray. <laughs> yeah. You guys could be seeing a lot of nines. Yeah, you're coming close to completion of a cycle. And somebody's like, well, I don't know what they're doing, honey. <sighs> My bad, Aqua. So this is your reading. I hope this reading gave you clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the R button so you won't miss my reads, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.